Pirates, we're at beautiful PNC Park. MLB The Show has action out of the NL Central. It's the Milwaukee Brewers going up against the Pittsburgh Pirates. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. First pitch moments away. And today's starter, Mitch Keller. Well, there are going to be a lot of balls in play because of the ground ball rate. Important that the defense stays engaged in the game. I think it's critical. Tempo is there. If you work quickly, it helps the fielders behind you to stay engaged, to make those plays, and help you get through the innings. Ready to go. Up now for Milwaukee, Sal Fraley. The pitch. Swing and a miss. You're a ball to one strike. The pitch. Ball. That one That's is upstairs. Rolled to Rowdy. Steps on first for the out. Let's take a look at the Brewers lineup. This is an offense, Chris, that's having a hard time scoring runs right now. Yeah, sometimes things just aren't going to click. And unfortunately, what happens is guys press, they try to do a little bit more, and they get out of their game. You've got to let the game come to you. If you chase it, it's going to run from you. So this is a team that just needs to calm down, relax, and understand that they're going to come out of this. Base hit. That was smoke through the infield. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Everyone's trying to elevate the ball in today's game, but if you can hit a ball that hard on the ground, it's going to find some holes. Willie Adamas stands in. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. First pitch misses. Keller in his fifth season, 28 years old. And he's one of the few players in Major League Baseball born in Iowa. And the pitch. Top of the zone for a strike. And the count one and one. Well, we call that keyholing. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. Ball, Man, at first, one away. That one ripped, but foul. Now all leave it up. Swings and misses, struck him out. Came inside with that two-strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up on the inside part of the plate. Couldn't get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside no, with two strikes the because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. Next right. offering is in for a strike. That clips the corner. Contreras, the runner at first with two gone. Two outs. Wouldn't chase that time. On the ground to third. He gets there with the slide to first. And they get the out. Milwaukee leaves one. And now the Pirates will get their first opportunity. No score. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Back here at PNC Park. And on the mound today, Colin Ray. What do we have on him? 
power pitcher. He's going to speed you up with the fastball velocity, and out of his hand will explode the breaking ball. Very difficult for hitters to keep that front side closed and hit the ball the other way because they know if they're not ready to pull the trigger, the fastball will beat them. Bottom of the first. Now it's the DH. Connor Joe just missed. Foul ball there. Next offering is in for a strike. Started after the 1 2 pitch, appeal to first, and Woody Keller right on it. Says he held up. That one oh. just misses the outside corner. Oh, Three and two down. Gets a piece and stays alive. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. He didn't make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. Really good, hard bite to that breaking ball for the strikeout right there. I mean, he was able to bury it down below the zone, and that's throwing the pitch with conviction. Good thing for the pitcher. He's not going to miss in the zone, and that's where you get hurt. Excellent execution with two strikes. That could be a big weapon for him in this start. Chorio calls it in, two away. Here's the Pirates lineup now. One guy leading the way offensively for this club right now, Brian Reynolds. This guy had an on-base percentage of over 400 last month. That's just telling you he's taking his walks, he's getting his knocks, he's finding some holes. Everything just going really well for him right now. But don't overlook the fact that that happens because he's having consistently good at-bats. Key Brian Hayes, the next to hit, takes ball one. Two outs, bases empty. And a foul ball. Right hander kicks, deals. That Two one almost one. got him. Two down, nobody on. Left field. And it drops in. That's a ball that a lot of times you'll see the shortstop or left fielder be able to get to if it hangs up in the air long enough. But right there, it just died and found a way to drop in on the green stuff for base hit. Next, it's the Pirates cleanup hitter, Jack Sawinski. Nope, that's and it. that one is inside ball one. Here it comes. Fouled off. He was late. <laughs> and a ball That's evens a count. Kicks and fires. Hit hard. That gets through. Throw stops the lead runner at second. 
two on and two out. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. And now it's Andrew McCutcheon. Here's a guy who's been struggling so far this year. It's only late April, but still hoping he'll turn it around soon. Little chopper rolls foul. Well, lots of pitches thrown in this first inning, and it's kind of that nightmare scenario for starting pitching. But you know what? It's still early enough. He can settle in. He can get some length if he just cleans up his mechanics a little bit. And that's in the dirt. On the ground, right side. Takes it himself. What a play. Inning over. Pirates strand a couple. Scoreless after one. And welcome back to the ballpark. Top of the second. Up now for Milwaukee, Blake Perkins. Perkins. Keller back to work. Pitch misses oh. there, and that's ball one. That one lifted to left. Puts it away for the out. This is Bryce Terang. corner for a strike going along man I mean nice job just presenting it to be better than it actually was one out base is empty line drive short hop to third throw over to Telez and to a way down Next is the speedy first baseman, Owen Miller. That one wow. missing inside. Second inning here, no score. And it's fouled away. Two outs. And now That's two and one. And oh. another ball. Two down, nobody on. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. Looked like a questionable call in that spot. He even seemed a little surprised it went his way at the plate. But as a hitter, you'll take that all day. Here's the rookie third baseman, Joseph Ortiz. Just missed. With the go-ahead run at first, here at the top of the second. There's a strike. The pitch. Got him looking for the strikeout. Fastball to letters frozen for strike three. Brewer strand one. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Here in Pittsburgh, bottom of the second. At the plate for Pittsburgh, Rowdy Telez. The wind of the pitch. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. Now the 0-1. 
Bounding ball here. Rolls foul. The wind of the pitch. To Lenz. Tries to check his swing. Now a look to third. No swing. He held up. Clyde Washington with the call there. And a pitch. Fights that one away. Still one and two. That's a little bit low. And that one hammered way back there. And forget it. He sends it out of here. His second of the year, just like that, they move in front. It's 1-0. The one thing the pitcher didn't want to happen just happened. That's not an easy one to stomach. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit, spit on some other pitches in this at bat, was very patient, and it paid off. Here's Joey Bart now. On the ground to third. One away. That ground ball may have him back on track after the homer. Batting it. Not shortstop. O'Neal. Here's O'Neal Cruz. This kid picked up in a trade. A lot was offered and given to get him, but he's got a real high ceiling. Off the mark there. Ball one. So O'Neill Cruz is named after Paul O'Neill. That was his father's idol in baseball, so he named his son O'Neill. In 2022, they finally met each other when the Pirates played the Yankees in New York, and I'm sure that was a moment that O'Neill Cruz will never forget. The shortstop takes the ball. To the right side, Terang. On to first, two gone now. Batting none. The second baseman. Now it's the second baseman. That one finds the corner. Strike one. Swing it a foul straight back. Two down, nobody on. Bottom half of inning number two. Right side. Out number three. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. It's now 1-0. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. And we're back. All set for the start of the inning. Yeah, the batter now, Jackson Chorio. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. Out to short. Now the throw to first on the run. And one away in the top of the third. Those plays can be tricky. They're routine, but that doesn't mean it's always going to be smooth. She delivered a good play right there. Sal Fraley up now for the Brewers. Grounded out his first time up. Yeah. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. <laughs> Trying to hold a one-run lead. We're here in the top half of inning number three. two now he goes down looking and now it's William Contreras and he's already singled in this game just missed
Swings yeah. through that one for strike one. Well, that's that slope right. right there. He threw it extremely well. Talk about just a ton of break. So tough yeah. to get that barrel to. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Brewers go down quietly. They still trail 1-0. As we go to the last of the third, and now the DH, Connor Joe. The right-hander back to work. And a good eye there. Hit hard on the ground to short. Adamas, the throw to first. One gone, bottom of the third inning. Number 10. Brian Reynolds. Brian Reynolds here. He's 0 for 1. There's yeah. the strike at the knees. And That's ball down. one. Base is empty one away here in the last half of the third. In the air to left down the line. And that's a foul ball. Just no, misses Batman. with that one. It's a good take. And that one is in the dirt. And the count's full. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with the three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. One down, base is empty. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. The third baseman, number now 13. batting Key Brian Hayes. Brian. When you talk about elite defensive third baseman, this guy is at the top of the list. Breaking ball through there for a strike. Stud. When you look at players like this, you play that hot corner. Got to be pretty courageous over there with the way balls come off the bat. That's the kind of guy that every year you expect him to be in the all-star game. Well, we'll hold that thought as that's the third out and we'll end the inning. Nothing doing here for Pittsburgh, but they're on top. one nothing. Out of the fourth, up now for Milwaukee, Willie Adamas. The wind of the pitch. That's high, that's a ball. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. Just missed. If he's able to connect on that, look out. Looking to get the tying run on base. That one not close. And the count is two and two. That's inside. Now in this three ball count, down in the ball game, you've got to be very selective. Take your walk if they give it to you. On the ground is short, Cruz. And they get Adamas for the out. Those plays can be tricky. They're routine, but that doesn't mean it's always going to be smooth. He delivered a good play right there. And it's Reese Hoskins up to the dish. 0 for 1 so far. This one driven deep way back there. And it's gone. We are tied. A massive home run. It's 1-1. One, one. He only needed one swing to square it up. Not wasting any time in that at bat, Boog. Aggressive, and it paid off. <laughs> uh, 
I'm excited to see that one again, but with the stack cast data because that was a bomb. Oh, says he drove it out of here at 115 miles an hour. I think I heard the ball screaming on its way out. And that's some serious exit velo, pretty elite, and he caught it just right to get it up in the air as well. One down. Next for the Brewers, Blake Perkins. And fouled off. One out, base is empty, and a run in. Top half of inning number four. Next Ball. offering is down low. And he hits a ground ball right side, and that's just foul. One down, base is empty. And yeah, that's a little bit high, and it's two and two. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Packs and misses, it's a strikeout. I'm not sure that was the exact location the pitcher wanted, but it worked. He got the swing and miss, and I'm sure a bit of sigh of relief after seeing that one go through the zone. Here's the second baseman, Bryce Terang. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat. Fastball yeah. for a strike. It's 0 and 1. Two outs. And a curve misses outside. Flares it into the outfield. That gets down for a hit. Hey, whatever works, right? Doesn't have to be impressive. It kind of muscled that one out there. Didn't get the barrel with it, but the important part was that he found a way to skate through the baseball and just drop it into center field. And now, let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. Move over to first, trying to keep him close. Now, here is Owen Miller. And that one fouled off. Terang leads off first with two down to the inning. That misses the zone. And now it's even one, one and one. one. And a swing and a miss there. Spin rate's outstanding on that high fastball. Really tough to hit. That one a little bit high. And the count's even at two. Home plate umpires trying to tighten things up a little bit. Righty delivers. And this gets away from Bart. That pitch was pretty far outside, further than he was set up, so kind of a tough one to handle, but still something he knows he should have had since it bounced off his glove and got away. Runner at second, two down. Outside, and that is ball four. Well, he's starting to look a little gassed to me, and we'll see if they go to the bullpen in this spot or not. Here's the third baseman, Joseph Ortiz. Caught looking his first time up. That pitch in for a strike, and it's 0-1. Two outs, a couple of base runners at first and second. Bounced out to short. Dives, but it's off his glove. No throw, and they don't get the out. Just a clutch at bat right there. Big time swing when this team really needed it. Really important at bat coming up now. And now the right fielder, Jackson Chorio. Grounded out to short in his first trip. And that one fouled off. Base is loaded, two down. Oh, 
Misses nope. off the plate. And one and one. On the ground, out to short. They get the force. They limit the damage here. Solo homer brings the Brewers even. All even at one apiece. Here at PNC Park, bottom four at the plate for Pittsburgh, Jack Sawinski. And the pitch. That one misses, and that is ball one. This one in the air. Terang settles under this one, pulls it down, and he makes the catch. And there's one down. The right fielder, Andrew. McCutcheon. Here's Andrew McCutcheon to hit. 0 for 1. He grounded out to first his last time. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Well, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never yeah. takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base paths. But why to kick the pitch? Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. One and two here. Upstairs. All tied up. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Waves at the bender for the strikeout. I got to think that was the plan all the way. He set him up with a high fastball and then bury that curveball down low to get him swinging. Now, especially with how effective pitchers work up in the zone these days, that's a devastating combination. Here's Rowdy Telez. He's already homered here in this one. Fought off foul. One misses, and it's one and two. O2 2 fastball way out of the zone. I think he's trying to speed him up. Got to stay back. Off speed's probably coming. And there's a ball. Battling here as he fouls it away. Riding to the plate. Chop to the right side. Slings the first, and the Pirates go one, two, three. Bucks go down quietly. Score remains tied, one, one. Ready now for the fifth inning, and now Sal Fraley. Number ten, Sal Fraley. And the right hander back to work. And that one is lifted in the air on his way over. Makes the grab one down. Up next to the walk. The William Contreras up now for the Brewers. First pitch oh, just it. misses. Base is empty one away, and we're at the top of the fifth. And fouled off. Really going after him here. All fastballs to get ahead in the count. 
Next oh. pitch misses. Two and two. On the ground. And he's into second base with one away as the go-ahead run. Man, he just absolutely turned on that one, ripped it down the line. Nice job of staying in the mechanics. One out, runner at second. Willie Adamas now at the plate. Swing and a miss. Oh and one. Oh and one. Contreras, the runner at second with one away. And that one fouled off. It's so hard to slow yourself down when you see that juicy breaking ball, but the most success happens when you try to take that right back up the middle approach. In the air, right field. And there's two down. And the batter now is Reese Hoskins. He's already homered in this game. Inside, just missed. Hoskins pushes a foul. Two outs and one at scoring position. Right. That one's in there. Going to count one and two. One ball, two strikes. Right-hander deals. Not two, two. close with that one. Ball two. On the ground right side. Slides for the stop. Takes it himself and he got him. Nicely done at first for the out. Milwaukee leaves one. Score remains deadlocked at one. Welcome back to the ballpark. John Shelby with my buddy Chris Singleton. And set to get us started. Bottom five. Joey Bart. And a pitch. Edge of the zone for a strike. Going one. Activity in the bullpen for the Brewers. Trevor McGill preparing to come on if needed. Number 49 also throwing. The pitch. Not one, even one. close there. One and one. On the ground right side. He'll do it himself. And the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. If you want to be a great defense, you have to deliver consistently. It doesn't matter how many highlight reel plays you make if you can't execute the small stuff, just like we saw. O'Neill Cruz, the next pirate to hit. The shortstop the takes a ball. Well, on the mound, very ball, efficient. No able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. And that, that one is inside. It's getting squeezed a little bit here late. Pitches downstairs. Who hasn't fallen behind in the count like this all day? He's in danger of walking his first batter right here. Inside corner, that's a strike. And the count is three and one. 
All tied up. Last half of inning number five. Ripped to short. Adamas, the throw to first. Hold on for the fifth inning, moving along. Two quick outs. Well, oh, we talked about how the ball is coming out of a pitcher's hand. The way it comes out of his hand as an infielder. Wow, really impressive. Now it's the second baseman. Grounded out his first time. Hit in the air, right field. Chorio makes the catch. And that is the inning. We played five full, tied at one aside. On the mound now for the Pirates, Martin Perez. This southpaw has been really good against left-handed hitters. Blake Perkins up now for the Brewers. Man at second, nobody out. Chris, certainly one of the things in his head is trying to get the runner over. Yeah, the way that we see the game played today, though, guys are not sacrificing as much just to get that runner across. They're really looking at doing damage. Slugging is the name of the game. Here comes a pitch. And that one fouled off. Yeah, I think part of that goes into it's just so hard to come up with hits. In today's game, starters don't go deep, and so hitters are seeing multiple pitchers every night, and that makes it more challenging just to come up with a single. One and two now. And a foul ball, he stays alive. One, two now. That ball is foul, and the pressure is building. Also really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of the zone right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Pretty textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count. Get the guy in the box on his heels. And then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. Bryce Terang will hit next. Third baseman playing on the edge of the grass looking for the sack bunt. No, Just low. missed. Oh. Out to short, Cruz. Now the tag to third, and they got him. Owen Miller up now for the Brewers. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So this one chopped on the ground, but foul. And I think that skill set really upgrades the position because when you have that kind of speed, it makes the whole team that much better. Rudder takes off. Pitch in for a strike. Safe at second, and that was not close. Two outs is a great time to try to steal second, especially when you have a guy with some wheels on first. Defense probably knew it was coming, but figured we better focus on trying to get this hitter out. Two down, go ahead, run in scoring position, and we're at the top half of the sixth. The next That's pitch misses. It's a ball and two strikes. And that one missing low. He's trying to stay down in the zone, but the hitter just will not chase. Now back in a 2-2 count, he's going to have to go to something else to get him out. Man on second, two down. Still two and two after the foul ball. And now the lefty spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another.
with the go ahead run standing at second and here in extra innings runner goes again in the dirt and he steals third without a throw. See another payoff pitch. Two outs. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Kicks and deals. Bounce to the right. And that one handled. Third out. That ends the frame. Brewers strand one, still tied, 1-1. One, one. Back here in Pittsburgh, bottom of the sixth inning. Now it's the DH, Connor Joe. Look for him to hit behind the runner, perhaps shoot it to the right side. The pitch. Just nope. missed. One oh. And no, another ball. It. Looks like he was trying to get to the front door with that curveball. It's definitely a finesse pitch, but it backed up a little bit on him and stayed inside. Good hitters count the 2 0. -oh. To the right side, Terang. Tosses the first, one away, bottom of the sixth. Not a bad outcome in that spot. The runner moves up to third, and now they have a chance to drive in the go-ahead run. It's not a knock, but at the end of the day, it's a good at bat. Digging in is the switch inning outfielder, Ryan Reynolds. Well, first base open. Really no reason to pitch to this hitter right here. Put him on, have the force at second first, perhaps getting any ending double play. That misses the zone. One and oh. You don't want to get beat by a fastball in. And he spits on that one. Next it's one off the ball. plate inside. And the count is two and oh. Wouldn't oh. chase that time. I know it's 3-0, but I'm letting him swing here if he likes the pitch. Why not? Key Brian Hayes waits on deck. The winning run at third here in extra innings. Fought off foul. And that's ball four. He's making things difficult for himself right now out there on the mound, but you know his confidence should still be high enough to get out of this, but he's gonna have to buckle down right here. Runners at the corners here, one away. Up next for the Pirates, Key Brian Hayes. Called strike right there. Really good job in this spot to get ahead in the count. He's going to have to continue, finish off this hitter. Next offering is in for a strike. Big pitch right here. He's going to try to make a pitch that's going to produce a strikeout or a ground ball double play. Winning run at third, one down here in the bottom of the sixth. And that's too high. Pretty standard high 0-2 fastball right there. If you're smart, you'll look for something down in the zone, but not too far. Don't want to chase that breaking ball in the dirt. The pitch. The other way. Base hit, battle do it. Across is the winning run, and the Pirates walk it off. Well, you come to the ballpark hoping you'll see something special that day, whether you're a player or a fan. A walk-off win, nobody forgets that. A memorable moment that'll be logged in the backs of the minds of everybody that witnessed this here today. And your final score here today, 2-1. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon.